Hello everybody and welcome to the class. So, you all look very excited all ready for the class today. Well, I hope that these classes are helping you to speak Japanese in a better way. You feel more confident and you feel happy about doing the classes. So, well, we will do something new of course, as we always do. We will also learn some kanji characters and vocabulary, some grammar, but before that as we always do, we will do our assignments, go over the assignments and let us see what we have here in the beginning. The first one as always is kanji, the kanjis are here and the readings are given here. So, well equivalents are written in Roman. So, the first one is kazan which is a volcano. Danse is boy or a man. Mon is a gate and you can see from the character itself, it appears like a gate as well. Then Shumatsu which is weekend. Haru which is spring. Densha, Nisen N and it is not Yen please, it is N. Shigatsu and Gaikoku Go. Go of course, you see written all the time on the Kokuban on the blackboard over here. So, this is Go for any language, Gaikoku is a foreign language. So, this is your kanji. Keep looking at these characters. As we are doing kanji and Japanese in a non uh, Japanese environment, thus kanjis are very important because if you go to Japan, well, you see these characters a lot and sometimes it is very intimidating. So, it is better to see them again and again. The visual is strong, it stays with you and you feel more comfortable. Now, write the opposites for the kanji characters. Well, the first one is soto, which is the opposite for naka. Then we have ue and shita, hairu and deru. Then oki. Chisai, Shiroi, Kuroi, and Otoko, Onna. Please remember these two were there to confuse you. So, well, you do not have to bother with these two. I hope you did it correctly. Well, the third one is choose the correct kanji characters from the brackets below. Gakusei wa shokudo ni imasu. So, all the correct answers are in blue. You can see over here, there were two names Yamada and Yamaguchi. You can easily make out from San. So, it has to be a name over here. San wa doko desu ka. Then we have Shumatsu ni Jikka e kaerimasu ka? Jikka is your hometown where you were born. Raigetsu kara natsu yasumi desu. Then, sensei no kogi wa sanji han kara desu. Sanji han is 3.30 and kogi is lecture. Bus no naka de tomodachi ni aimashita. Bus no naka de. Please for action at a certain place. Watashi no ie ni shichinin ga imasu. Ni and ga again is a pattern. Something or someone ga imasu. Kino tomodachi to ichijikan denwa de 
hanashi mashita. Renwa de. Watashi wa Tokyo e ikitai. I want to go. Nodo ga kawaita kara sumetai mono o nomi tai. This is tabetai and yomi tai. Quite similar, but this is the answer. So, let us see the next one. Join the sentences and make one meaningful sentence. Well, there were some words for you and you were to join and use yori which was given and make one proper sentence. Yori is, we did yori in our uh, last lesson. So, let us see what you have done. Tokyo wa kanpur yori oki this. A wa B yori. A is whatever the adjective says and more than. So, yori is more than. A wa kanpur yori oki this. Then Rao san yori Arun san no Nihongo ga jozu desu. We did Jozu last time. I did mention Jozu a little. We will practice now over here in this class. Jozu will take particle ga as I had mentioned. Then we have Watashi wa mikan ga suki desu. So, when you are stating a fact, you are stating something emphatically, ga is going to be used and also with suki always ga is used. Indo wa Nihon yori atsui desu. Yori again. Or you could also say Indo no ho ga Nihon yori atsui desu. As no ho ga is given, Indo no ho ga, where you show that one is bigger or greater than the other one. Your preference for A or B, whatever comes first before Hoga. Then, Kono mondai wa ano mondai yori muzukashi desu. Yori. Then we have Jimushitsu ni nidai kopi no kikai no hoga i desu. It is better that there are two machines in the office. Hasami de kiru hou ga kantan desu. It is easier to cut with hasami. Rao san wa indo ryori ga daisuki desu. Dai is oki. Another reading for oki is dai. So, daisuki is very very much. Rao san indo ryori daisuki. So, well this was yori and no hoga. Now, we have some expressions which are very important, makes you feel more comfortable and we have the first one here. Kaisha de minna mada hataraite imasu. Kairu mai ni tanaka san wa nanto imasu ka? So, the answer is osaki ni shitsure shimasu. Well, I am going before you. So, please excuse me. And O is, O is honorific and Saki is before or ahead of you, earlier than you. So, please excuse me. Hito ga byouki desu. Anata wa byouin e ikimasu. Sono hito ni aimasu. So, shite uchi e kairu mai ni nani o imasu ka? Well, before you leave someone who is sick, what do you say? You say? O daiji ni. Ki o tsukete kudasai o daiji ni. Then, tomodachi no uchi ni hairu toki. O jama shimasu. O jama shimasu is, I am intruding on your privacy, so please excuse me. O jama shimasu. Tomodachi no uchi kara deru toki. After you have met your friend, after you have spent some time with your friend, you want to leave, then what do you say? 
ojama shimashita. Then we have omiyage o moratta toki. Omiyage is presento o moratta toki. Arigato gozai mashita or mas. Both can be used. Dareka to wakareru toki. Wakareru is to part. Wakareru actually means to separate. Over here, when you part from someone, then what do you say? Sayonara. Kiyotskete kudasai. Kiyotskete we already did last time. So, well, hajimete hito ni atta toki. That is your introduction. Hajime mashite. Dozo yoroshku onegai shimasu. Then, hito ga uchi ni kita toki. Irashai mase. Dozo o hairi kudasai. Please come in. Hito ga mise ni hairu toki. Irashai mase. Just irashai mase and not dozo o hairi kudasai. This is only for your house. Then, ashi o funda toki. When you step on someone's feet or you by, by mistake, you hit someone or you bang into someone or you do something wrong, sono toki sumimasen, gomena sai. Now, there was something I said in the end after I finished the class in our last lecture. That was, sore de wa minasan, kyo wa kore de owarimasu. So, well, this is a simple phrase where you are saying that, well, I will finish the class now with what we have done. I will finish it right here. Whatever we have done, well, let us finish with that. So, that is what it means. Now, if you remember, we did hoga ides in our last class. I mentioned hoga or no hoga ides to you. We did some practice, we did practice it a little, but not much. Now you are familiar with this no hoga. You can differentiate between yori and hoga. So, well, we will do it in past tense. As you can see over here, verb in plain past form plus hoga is quite similar to had better or is better that in English. And the negative is verb nai hoga idis. Now, this does not make much sense. It will start making sense when you read this. Nodo ga itai desu. Kusuri nonda hoga ii desu. So, nodo ga itai desu. One answer is kusuri o nonde kudasai. Please have medicine. Please take your medicine. The second answer could be it is better that you have medicine now. So, kusuri o ku Suri o nonda hoga i desu. Verb in past form over here. Nonda hoga i desu. Or you could also say onaka ga itai desu. You could say atama ga itai desu. Onaka ga itai desu. Well, kusuri o nonda hoga e this. My throat is paining, it would be better if I take some medicine or someone else could also be telling you, if you could take some medicine. Ame ga futte imasu kara ikanai ho ga ii desu. When you should not do something or it is better that you do not do that. That time negative verb plain past form plus hoga e this as is given over here. Now, we have in our exercise earlier something was underlined that is exactly what is 
given here you can see on your slide here kikai no hou ga ii desu, kiru hou ga ii desu, yasui hou ga ii desu. So, what is it? Noun no hou ga ii desu. So, when you are using hou ga ii desu, then with noun it is no hou ga ii desu. Hon, hon no hou ga ii desu. If I show you two toke, two watches, well, dochira no hou ga ii desu ka? Kore no hou ga ii desu. So, with noun, it is no hou ga ii desu. Now, you will see over here something else is given. There is a verb in plain form kiru hou ga kantan desu. When it is verb plain form then hou ga ii desu. Hou chou de, hou chou is a knife. Hou chou de Kiru hou ga hou ga ii desu. Pen de kaku hou ga ii desu. Enpitsu de kaku hou ga ii desu. So, with verbs it is hou ga, with nouns it is no hou ga. Then you have something else also over here. Yasui hou ga ii desu. It is better if it is cheap. So, with adjectives also it is not no hou ga, it is hou ga ii desu. Yasui hou ga ii desu. Yasui yori takai. Hou ga ii desu. This is an adjective. Now, yasui hon yori takai hon no hou ga ii desu. So, now you will see that with adjective it is hou ga with noun it is no hou ga ii desu. This is very very clear over here. You can practice like this and get used to no hou ga and hou ga. Now, there is a small conversation. Nani wo shite imasu ka? Ashita shike naru kara benkyo shite imasu. So ne. Benkyo shita hou ga ii desu. It is better that you study now as you have a have an exam tomorrow. So, well you can practice this small conversation with hapyo shiai which is a match, okyak san which is guest. You will also notice that when you are talking particles are not that important. You can just omit the particles and the subject and just talk freely as is given over here. Ashita shiken ga aru kara benkyo shite imasu. And so, ga is missing because it is conversation. Now, nani wo shite imasu ka? Ashita hapyo aru kara benkyo shite imasu or renshu shite imasu. So, ne renshu shita hou ga ii desu or benkyo shita hou ga ii desu. Now, Nani wo shite imasu ka? Ashita shiai aru kara. Shiai ga arimasu kara or aru kara renshu shite imasu. I am practicing because I have a match. So ne renshu shita hou ga ii desu. So you can you can practice like this. Ima nani wo shite imasu ka? Soji wo shite imasu. So ne okyaku san ga kuru kara soji 
shita hoga i desu. So, you can practice like this with your partner, simply ask and answer and it will help you in conversation. Now, nai hoga i desu. Nani o shite imasu ka? Ega o mite imasu. I am watching a film. Shiken aru kara ega o minai hoga i desu. It is better that you do not watch a film as you have an exam. Nani o shite imasu ka? Asoun de imasu. So, again, shiken aru kara asoba nai hoga i desu. So, you can see very clearly how it is going to be used. You can practice like this with your partner and feel comfortable. In a similar manner, nani o shite imasu ka? Shousetsu o yonde imasu. kara shousetsu o yomanai hoga ii desu. Yomanai hoga ii desu. Now, we had also done dochira last time. Noun 1 to noun 2 to dochira ga ii desu ka? Dochira ga oki desu ka? Dochira ga yasui desu ka? So, well, noun 1 to noun 2 to dochira ga yasui takai shiroi adjective this and ka over here. So, what does dochira show? This is a pattern noun 1 to noun 2 to dochira ga whatever the adjective. What does this show or mean? Well, which one of the two is yasui? Which one of the two is takai? Which one of the two is more shiroi? Your choice or preference can be clearly seen with dochira. As you can see over here, comparison between two or more things. Now, you will say that two or more things means n number of things you can just say noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 to and it goes on. No, that is not possible. You can only compare two maybe three things not beyond that. So, that is very important with dochira. As you can see noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 to dochira ga whatever the adjective you want to use over there. Now, you can also ask in another way. Here we are using dochira. Now, if you have a group, you have different things over here. So, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 no naka de. Within this set no naka de nani ga suki desu ka or dochira. Which one? Dochira ga suki desu ka? Dochira ga yasui desu ka? Dochira ga takai desu ka? As is given over here, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 no naka de dore ga, dochira ga, nani ga suki desu ka? Nani ga kirai desu ka? Nani ga omoshiroi desu ka? So, you can again tell your choice in this manner. Also, as is listed over there, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 no, naka de, dochira ga ichiban, whatever the adjective, this ka. So, you can also ask like this ichiban. Ichiban over here does not mean the first, ichiban means most over here. So, noun 1 to, noun 2 to, noun 3 no naka de, dochira ga ichiban, most suki desu ka, most kirai desu ka, 
most omoshiroi desu ka? Ega 1 to ega 2 to ega 3 no naka de dochira ga ichiban omoshiroi desu ka? You can ask like this, ega 2 no hou ga omoshiroi desu. I prefer ega 2 over all the others. So, you can ask practice like this and feel comfortable. Ringo to mikan to dochira ga takai desu ka? Ringo to mikan no naka de dore ga ichiban takai desu ka? Dochira ga ichiban takai desu ka? Which one is the most expensive amongst the two? Rao san to arun san to dochira ga wakai desu ka? Who is younger? So, you can practice like this using these comparisons over here, dochira, no naka de, ichiban, no hoga, any of these you can use, the ones we have done in class and you can practice. Now, momo to suika to, momo is peach, suika is watermelon, to dochira ga takai desu ka. Simple set I have given you over here, you can compare now, momo ga takai desu, one answer. Second answer is, momo no hou ga takai desu. Third answer is, momo wa suika yori takai desu, momo is more expensive than suika. And momo no hou ga ringo yori takai desu. So, well, all of them are given over here. We have done the explanations. You just have to practice. A ga takai, A no ho ga takai, A wa B yori takai, A no ho ga B yori takai. So, well, your preference is very clear over here. A no ho ga takai desu. So, now you can practice dochira. There are two books over here. One is new, one is old. So, this is Tanaka san over here. Kono hon to sono hon to. Kono hon to sono hon to dochira ga furui desu ka? And it is very clear. Kono hon no hou ga furui desu. You can answer like this. And also, one thing I want to tell you over here with furui is that with furui, it means old, of course, but Furui is used with things. Something is furui and a person is not furui. Person is old, yes, but person is not furui as over here. This is meant for non living things. Hito ga toshi o totte imasu, or toshi no kata desu, or nempai no kata desu is used for people. Then you have two kabans over here. What is it now? What is Tanaka san saying again? Kono kaban to sono kaban to dochira ga omoi desu ka? Omoi is very, very heavy. Kono kaban no hou ga omoi desu. When I compare the two, then kono kaban no hou ga omoi desu. So, very clearly comparison is shown and with no hou ga above this. So, this one is more than or above this kaban, heavier than this kaban. Now, shinbun to shousetsu to dochira ga omoshiroi desu ka? So, well over here, you have shinbun and you have shousetsu, dochira ga omoshiroi. Shinbun no hou ga omoshiroi or if you prefer shousetsu, shousetsu no hou ga omoshiroi. And then we have this picture over here two people standing, Tanaka san and this is also Tanaka san. Well, A san to B san to dochira ga sei ga takai desu ka? Sei is height and Tanaka san no sei ga takai desu. You can put like this. So, you can practice your uh, comparisons with your partner and get used to no hou ga, yori, dochira, no naka de, 
Ichiban, any of these and feel comfortable with Japanese. Now we have, I am going to buy shoes, kutsu wo kai ni ikimasu. You have not done this form, we will do this form today. It is very simple, easy to use and is used a lot in daily conversation. So well, first and foremost, listen to this radio dialogue and then we will do the explanations over here. Tanaka san, chotto o negai ga arimasu. Nan desu ka? Jitsu wa raigetsu Amerika kara tomodachi ga kimasu. Watashi wa nihon no mono o miyage ni shitai desu. Demo. Kaitai mono o kimemashita ka? Chotto kimete nai desu ga. Ja, issho ni kai ni ikimashou ka? Sumimasen, o negai shimasu. So well. How much did you understand? There is just one new thing in this dialogue and I am sure most of it is understood. Well, I will read it once. Rao san to Tanaka san no kaiwa de ikkai watashi wa yomimasu kara yoku kiite kudasai ne minasan. Hai, Tanaka san chotto onigai ga arimasu. Nan desu ka? Jitsu wa raigetsu Amerika kara tomodachi ga kimasu. Watashi wa nihon no mono o omiyage ni shitai desu. Demo, kaitai mono o kimemashita ka? Chotto kimete nai desu ga. Ja, issho ni kai ni ikimashou ka? Sumimasen, onegai shimasu. So, well, a simple dialogue, only kai ni is new over here. Onegai ga arimasu is, I have a request to make. Or, I want a favor from you. Jitsu wa we have done, which means actually, then, watashi wa nihon no mono o omiyage ni shitai desu. I want to give a Japanese present to my friend, demo. But, and you leave the conversation, you leave the sentence incomplete, because it is very clearly understood that you want to ask him to go with you shopping. Kaitai mono o kimemashita ka? Chotto kimete nai n desu ga. I haven't decided as yet. You could also say directly mada desu. A direct answer mada desu. And chotto kimete nai n desu ga and again you leave it incomplete which is very very typical of the Japanese language. You say something and just let it go like this. Ja, issho ni kai ni ikimashou ka? Shall I come with you shopping? Sumimasen, onegai shimasu. These two I will explain a little later. Kai ni is what we will do now and this is your script. You can go over the script, read it out at least once when you are at home and see how much you can recognize. This is your translation in English. Somewhere you will find that it is not as it should be from the script. So, this translation is not a literal translation. It is what you would say in English. Now, we are going to practice verb plus ni. Ikimasu, yomimasu, tabemasu. Mimasu, aimasu. Group 1 and group 2 both. So, well, what you need to do is just remove the mas from here and put ni. Ai ni ikimasu. Yomi ni ikimasu. Tabe ni ikimasu. Mi ni ikimasu. So, for the purpose of performing this activity, I will go somewhere. Now, you will see that the verbs are there, the forms are there. For example, over here, 
the forms are all there, the verbs are there, but all the time you cannot use or make forms for all the verbs. Sometimes it is not possible as you just saw with ikimas. Ikini ikimas is not used. Tabeni ikimas for the purpose of performing a certain activity. I am going somewhere. As you can see over here, Centraru market to e nani o shini ikimashita ka? A question. Central market e nani o shini? What for what purpose did you go over there? Nani is what? Shini is to do. Kasa o kai ni ikimashita. Kai ni for the purpose of buying a kasa. Kasa o kai ni central market e ikimashita. So, now you can see it is very clear. Doshite shokudo e ikimashita ka? Tabe ni ikimashita. Doshite gakko e ikimashita ka? Sensei ni ai ni ikimashita. Now, you can practice this over here. You have all these options given. Doshite gakko e ikimashita ka? Sensei ni ai ni ikimashita. Doshite depato e ikimashita ka? Kaimono o shini ikimashita. Doshite shokudo e ikimashita ka? Obento o kai ni ikimashita. Obento is your tiffin, your lunch box, whatever is there in the lunch. So, obento o kai ni ikimashita. So, you can use these freely and easily. Lot of combinations you can make over here and you can use verb plus ni. So, remove the mass of the verb and put ni instead. Now, a simple conversation. Tanaka san, nani o shite imasu ka? Ima gita o hite imasu. Jozu desu ne. Iie, mada mada desu. In our conversation, we had mada. Mada. Mada desu. Omiyage o kimemashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Or just mada desu. Meaning, not yet. But if you have two mada mada like this, then well, it is a little different. Mada mada means, I still have to learn a lot. So, over here he is asking nani o shite imasu ka? He is saying I am playing the guitar. Hi te imasu. Jozu desu ne? You are very good at it. No, not yet. I still have to learn much more is what it means. Hiku is the verb. Hiku means to pull, to stretch. So, because you pull the strings and the sound comes. Thus, it is hiku for all stringed instruments. Please remember that. Well, you have these words over here instead of Tanaka san, Oto san nani o shite imasu ka? And let us see what he is doing. Piano o hite imasu or uta o utatte imasu or nihon ryori o tsukutte imasu. Jozu desu ne? Iie, mada mada desu. So, you can practice like this. Now, we did jozu also last time. Very quickly, we will go over jozu and you can see this lady is singing over here jozu and he is very, very happy because she is good at it. So, Mariko san wa uta ga jozu desu ne. Uta ga jozu desu ne. Jozu will take particle ga. Hai, so desu ne. So, you will never say that I am Jozu at something. Please remember, it is always someone else is Jozu at something. And also, when someone says that you are very good at something, you will always try to say, Mada mada desu. I still have to learn more. And you never say that I am very good at that is the Japanese people. You can see 
Michael san over here. Michael san wa gita ga jozu desu ne. Jozu desu ne or so desu ne. So, you can practice your conversation like this. Now, every time we do expressions, every time we learn something, something new, some new expression that the Japanese use all the time, we try to learn those, some ways of saying different things in Japanese. So, well, we have done something today. Let us see how we are going to use it over here. There is this gentleman here and he is sitting in a coffee shop and he is the person attending to him. So, well what does he say? Omachi do sama. Omachi do sama is a typical, typical expression used when you go to a restaurant and someone comes to take your order. Machi do sama is sorry to have kept you waiting. O is honorific. So, omachi do sama, sorry to have kept you waiting. Nani ni shimasu ka? What will you have? So, well he is thinking what shall I have? Nani ni shimashou ka? What shall I have? He is asking him and he says, kohi ga ii desu ka? Kocha ga ii desu ka? What would you like to have? Kohi ga ii desu ka? Kohi ga ii desu ka? Kocha ga ii he says, kohi no hou ga ii desu. I prefer coffee over tea. So, this is how you will use no hou ga. You can easily understand that he is saying, I prefer coffee over or above tea, more than tea. So, try to use your expressions like this. In situations like this, Well, two new kanji characters for you today. You know the words already. Well, we will just do the kanjis. Of course, we will do some kanjis separately also. Over here, there is one word omiyage. Omiyage is a present. This you have already done, which means soil used for doyobi. This is a new character which means to give birth to this small character to be born you have done. So, this joins with soil and omiyage it makes it a present. Of course, I will explain later how these two make omiyage and then we have isogashi which is busy. So, just get used to the visual of these two kanji characters. Isogashi, I will tell you how it is made and written. Isogashi is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. So, well, this is isogashi and omiyage is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 like this omi yage. You just look at the kanji character once again. What I want to tell you over here is very interesting and that is why I took up this word omi yage today. It is very Japanese. Oh, Omiyage like this over here. Now, why? Why omiyage like this? Well, you just look at the kanji character once again. Look at it once again. What does this mean? What does this mean? What did I tell you earlier? Well, this means soil and this means to be born to give birth to. This means to be born and this means to give birth to. So, how does omiyage come over here? Well, omiyage comes from these two characters. 
these two readings meaning something of the soil, something of the place. So, a present and omiyage is very different. Present could be anything, it could be from anywhere, but omiyage will only be from the place where it is made or is born, meaning of that place, specially of that region. So, of that soil, something belonging to that place is omiyage. As you can see from the character, soil and to give birth to over here. So, present and omiyage is a little different, present is from anywhere. It does not have that feeling in a present. Omiyage is of the soil. And that is when you say, I want to give something, I want to give an omiyage, meaning you want to give something belonging to that place. Isogashi desu ka? Another very, very interesting thing about the Japanese or Japan is that well, you generally do not ask anyone, are you free, which you would do in English. You would in fact ask exactly the opposite in Japanese are you busy? Why? Because it is it's actually cultural, they do not like, they take their work very seriously and they would always like to be very busy, very serious, very focused and it is in fact shameful that you have time at your hands. You cannot be sitting idle and just whiling away your time, you have to be working, you have to be busy with something, to be doing something constructive that is also very, very Japanese. And also something very Japanese over here is sumimasen onegai shimas. That is also interesting because a lot of foreigners laugh at this and say how is it the Japanese say sorry and thank you and sorry and please at the same time. Sumimasen means sorry and onegai shimas means please. So, why is it that the Japanese use this so frequently sumimasen and onegai shimas. Well, a very simple explanation is sumimasen is sorry for all the trouble that I am giving you and please is a request, please or in a similar manner sumimasen and arigato. Sumimasen is sorry for the trouble and thank you for doing what you are doing for me. This is also very, very Japanese um, culture, a lot has to do with the culture, sumimasen and onegai shima. Sorry for all the trouble, but please do it for me is what it means. Now, we have katakana and hiragana. We have completed the katakana and hiragana syllables, the first set of the syllables which is 46 for both the uh, scripts. Now, we have the second set which has 25 in each set and the first set is the ga set for both katakana and hiragana for you over here. Ga, gi, gu, ge, go and the similar thing over here ga, gi, gu, ge and go. You will remember that this is ka, ki, ku, ke and ko with this small attachment here on top you can change it to the ga series. So, you can practice this over here, you can see the stroke order, note the stroke order, try doing it, try doing it on a graph sheet. I have tried to show it to you like this over here, you will get it very proportionately on your sheet. You can practice. Now, we have a small kotowaza as I have been doing with you. You can see Tanaka-san running after two rabbits. What can you understand from here? Can you think of a proverb in English or in Hindi? Well, now look at this. Nito o o mono wa itto o mo ezu. What does that mean? Well, look at this now. One who chases after two hares won't catch even one. So, running after too many things, trying to do 
too many things at the same time does not give you the best of results. You gain nothing actually in the long run. So, one needs to be very focused, one needs to be determined in what you are doing and also you have to be very sure what you want. So, this is what this proverb tells you ni to o o mono wa itto o mo ezu meaning trying to do too many things at once will make you fail in both or you will fail in both the things that you are doing. So, please try to be focused, try to be very very determined in what you are doing, know your goals well. For any any culture I think anywhere one has to understand this and work accordingly. Now, you have nito is two rabbits, o is to chase, mono is a person who is doing that activity and ezu is to get, to acquire, to gain, to obtain any of these over here. So, well you can think up of the Hindi proverb and try to relate to it. There is vocabulary for you, lot of new words, you could go over the words and practice them, make sentences and practice your conversation. Now in the end, my job is over your job begins, you have lot of assignments to do, lot of work, homework to do at home. So, well the first assignment that you have is match these kanji characters with what is given over here, readings given over here in hiragana. Well now we have our second assignment and in this assignment you are to tick the correct options from the brackets given below. Then you have match column A with column B. You again have some kanji words here, write the readings of these words. Then translate these into English and then fill in the blanks with appropriate particles and question words. So, there is lots for you to do, lots of new vocabulary, words, forms, try to do those, practice, make some sentences and practice conversation with your partner. With this, I will end. So, sore de wa minasan, kyo wa kore de owarimasu, kondo wa mata Atarashi koto o benkyo shimasho is given over here. You can see very clearly, you can read, and with this, I would like to end our class for today, end our session for today. You can, you can practice at home, do all the conversations that we have done here, make sentences, and do whatever you are doing very loudly, so that whatever you say can be heard and you can memorize, read, understand your conversation and your scripts well. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou, arigatou gozaimasu, thank you.